What is up my fellow beasts, welcome back to a new video today, I am bringing you 5 things only beasts do in Modern Warfare Master. Now, I've done this type of video about previous Call of Duties, about Titanfall 2, about Battlefield 1, you gotta keep in mind that MLB War is a much more simpler game, there's not really much to play with, but I tried my best and I hope you guys enjoyed. The other reason why I'm also making this video is because... A lot of new players got Modern Warfare Mastered for Christmas and at this point they are still in their pure state, which means they're not noobs yet and what I mean by noobs is they're not using martyrdom, they're not camping with claymores and all that shit because most likely they don't have those things yet or they're not nerds yet because they're not camping with the M16, they're not trying to get 25 kills without dying or whatever, or even more, and they're not spamming stun grenades all over the place. So let's show these new players how beasts have fun playing the game, alright? You can be a good player without using the most annoying stuff in the game. So the first thing on this list beasts do in Modern Warfare Master is using what I call the hand. Now the hand is a group of five guns. The Scorpion, the Uzi, the G3, the MP44 and the Dragonov. Oh wait a second, you thought that using the hand was the same thing nerds do when they open supply drops and they get a gun? They do that shit? No, man. No, I'm not talking about that. You guys are fucking crazy. These weapons are fucking awesome. To be honest, as long as you are not using an M16, you are good to go because the M16 is just OP in this game. It should be a two burst kill. And I mean, I don't I don't hate the M16. I actually love it and unfortunately, I cannot use it because it's being used by all fucking nerds in the game. They just give it a bad name. But let's take a look at these guns. The Scorpion, ladies and gentlemen, this is a little beast with great damage and it has no recoil a lot of people don't know that it's a little laser beam but the thing is you gotta reload after every kill pretty much then we have ladies and gentlemen the uzi this is another beast now this one unlike the scorpion is no laser beam this kicks like a motherfucker so the trick with this bad boy is to hip fire then we have ladies and gentlemen the g3 i love this gun because it reminds me of the Galil from Black Ops 1. I don't know if they are related, to be honest. I know shit about guns. I just play Call of Duty. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about guns. And uh, then we have, ladies and gentlemen, the MP44. I love this bad boy because it is from World of War. I love World of War. Shout out to that game. I hope that's the game they remaster next. I hope they remaster all Call of Duties in order if they keep doing that shit. And then finally we have, last but not least, the beast known as a Dragonov. This sniper rifle is crazy, it sucks ass, and that's why I like using it, because it is a great challenge. The thing number two on this list, ladies and gentlemen, is actually something beasts do not do, which is not depending on the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity is a group of three perks that are on the second tier. Stopping Power, Juggernaut and UAV Jammer. Now, with this being said, I'm not saying you should never use any of these perks. I'm just saying, man, different game modes require different perks and you don't need to always use the same thing. Have fun, experiment something else. I love using Slide of Hand. I love using overkill, it's fun. I love using double tap when I use, you know, LMGs. The, the one I use the most here on the Holy Trinity is UAV Jammer, just because of the UAV spam. But when I play free for all, I don't need the UAV Jammer. I use something else, I have fun. I only use Jug when I play against, a, you know, a clan of snipers and stopping power. Sometimes I might use it when I'm playing free for all, but I don't really touch stopping power. Thing number three, only beasts do in Modern Warfare Master is playing the old school game modes. There's uh, old school free for all, which is what I play only uh, when it comes to the old school mode. I think there's also old school team deathmatch and kill confirmed. I'm not sure though, because as I said, I just play old school free for all and I love playing this shit. You know why? Because everyone starts the game with the same loadout. There are no motherfuckers using M16s, using Marty Dom, spamming frag times 3, you know, spamming stuns all over the place. As I said, everyone starts the game with the same loadout, everyone is even at the start, and then you have to battle for better weapons, for better equipment, and for better perks. And you don't really get too many annoying things, which is awesome in this game mode. So if you're tired of playing Kill Confirmed and getting killed by martyrdom noobs, if you're tired of getting killed by sweaty nerds, 
perhaps you should try this game mode, you will have fun, plus you run faster, you jump a little bit higher, not something crazy like on Infinite Warfare or Black Ops 3, just a little cheeky jump, but it's a little bit higher than a normal jump, and uh, you have double health, unfortunately you do not regenerate it, but at least, you know, the good part about, you know, uh, the health is that uh, you cannot panic knife people, as long as you have full health, obviously, so it takes two knives to kill a player with full health. The thing number four on this list, ladies and gentlemen, only Savage Beasts do in Modern Warfare Method is using the melee weapons. Now, I know that the melee weapons got a lot of hate because they don't belong to Call of Duty 4 and whatever, but you just... Dude, this is how you have to think. This is not Call of Duty 4. It doesn't play like Call of Duty 4, but, you know, forget about Call of Duty 4. For just, you just, you just gotta forget about COD 4, unfortunately, man, they fucked up, they fucked up, this doesn't feel like the same game, but it's a cool game, I like playing it, well, unless I'm playing against a full team of, you know, sweaty nerds camping with M16s, but, ladies and gentlemen, the melee weapons are fun, because they suck! <laughs> that's right and that's cool because if they were good everyone would be running around with melee weapons but this way only the beast will dare to use these tanks or maybe some noob who has no clue what he's doing now i don't really use the melee weapons in you know normal maps i just use them when i play shipment i hate this map shipment i never want to play it because it's nothing but chaos you die like i don't know 40 times unless you're camping with an lmg people just spam grenades all over the place people are running around with marty dom dude this this map is not fun to play but now i love it because of the melee weapons i got myself a little bottle that you you know break it in half and you run around with it and pretty much what i do on shipment is I use the smoke grenade, I throw it down the middle, then I just run through the smoke like a fucking viking beast and I shank everyone who uh, is in my way with my little broken bottle and most of the time I die because it's like your character has these little tiny T-Rex arms and you swing the bottle but you are never able to reach the enemy which is kind of retarded but it's fun, it's something different and now I actually have a motivation for playing ship and, and the last thing on this list ladies and gentlemen is using the claymores like a beast it just depends on how you use the claymores if you're camping in a building and you have a little claymore guarding your ass you're most likely a fucking noob if you're running around spamming claymores all over the place you know especially after you spawn most likely you are a nerd and you're trying your best to just get as many random kills as possible because you suck with your gun and you need to spam claymores all over the place to get those free kills but beasts don't do any of that shit beasts find campers or nerds they plant the claymore behind them and they watch them die which is super hilarious and it's something i used to do back in the day in Call of Duty 4 and I also started doing this in Black Ops 1 and it was a lot of fun but it's just something fun to do only once in a while if you are able to find a delicious camper so there you go ladies and gentlemen 5 things only Savage Beasts do in Modern Warfare Mastered this is all I could think about as I said MWR is a simple game there's not much to play with and if you know of something else Beasts do in this game let me know in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching I'll see you next time peace out